Blog Talk Radio. Check out the full episode of this on Mental Like Patreon. In the name of Amen, the Supreme, the All Powerful, the One and Only True Lord. And I'm in we trust, and I'm in we thank, and I'm in we continue forward forever. Good evening, I am your host, the intellectual Nubian Minkari, and this is Mental Like Radio, and tonight we're going to be discussing the lie that semen retention makes men stronger. That's been a, um, you know, a heavy thing, and I want to address that for health reasons, all men out there, especially the so-called black men, especially the so-called bronze men, I want to address this lie, that semen retention somehow makes you stronger. I first heard about this um, so-called, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, teaching about semen retention. It was supposed to be some kind of Asian or Eastern uh, philosophy of men retaining their chi, as they say, or their seed, and somehow it makes them stronger. Right? They call it the chi. Right? And you know, they'll say that for boxing is when a man stops, you know, he can't save all his strength if he doesn't release his semen. Right? This is what they tell you. However, I told you all before, if that is the case, why is it that so many men who hit 50 years old, whose sexual, um, who tend to, whose sexual, um, Activity tends to decrease depending on the man. Once they hit over 50 years old, they are, and they are told by their doctors that they need a prostate exam, right? Prostate exam. They usually have prostate cancer. They end up getting prostate cancer because, you know, prostate, you know, um, becomes a thing inflamed. I forget how it goes, but the prostate is, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, in back of or in front of uh, the semen ducts, right? And, you know, when you know when a man, because men from the time they're 13, 11, 12, 13 years, little around 13, they start to become like semen factories, sperm factories. They're making semen constantly. Everything that men put into their bodies from the time they hit 12, 13 years old is going to get turned into semen, protein and things like that. Right, and just like anything that goes into your body, it must be released from your body. Okay, what is the lie that semen retention makes men stronger? It's basically the lie that what they're telling you from these Eastern philosophies and spiritual practices that the retention of sperm, semen, and all that, and you know, uh, uh, will make you stronger, and to release it will make you weaker. Right, when it's actually reversed. The more you hang on to it, the weaker you get. The more you release it, the stronger you get. You see? The more you release it, the stronger you get. Why? Because that means that movement is taking place. When the sperm is moving, that's still flow of motion. That's still movement. You see? When a water, when, let, let's look at it this way. Is a, is, what's, what's stronger, a rushing current or a steel pond? A steel pond. A rushing current of water or a steel pond, which is stronger, which is more, which carries more power? You know, a rushing, the rushing current in the river or the stillness of a pond, which is more powerful? That's the same way that a man's sperm is supposed to move through his body. He's supposed to keep pushing it out and keep making and pushing out, keep making and pushing it out. He's supposed to be filling back up and releasing every. At least, at least every week he's supposed to be releasing. At least every week. You see? He ain't supposed to be, ain't supposed to be no monster, no two man. That's killing you. That's going to kill you. Stop listening to these uh, humans and they madness. Who made this up? Of course, these Eastern people. Who made up this lie, these Eastern philosophies and whatnot? Because these are the most undersexed people, man. These are people who have no love, no passion, no nothing. No, They lack luster. So, of course, they can go without sex. You know, sex ain't nothing to them. Why do many, many men believe it? Because you're programmed to believe this. 
You're programmed just like you programmed to believe anything. Any, they program you to believe anything that goes against nature and the society, whether you know it or not. That's what you really program to do. The program, the program they put in you is meant to do what? Psych you out. Do psychological, meaning working against the logical thinking of things. Because again, logically, you know if your body's constantly making something like sperm, then you know that your body's going to keep making it. You only got for so much space to store that sperm. It has to be released. In order for new sperm to come in, fresh sperm to come in, semen to come in, that has to be released. You see? Same way with bowel movements. You have to move your bowels because you're going to constantly keep eating. You're going to have more weights coming in there. you got to release it. It's going to build up and you're going to get colon cancer and you're going to die. Just like you get prostate cancer and die from those tumors that are made by uh, 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 by um, congealed semen in your urethra and your... That, 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 which stops you from peeing. Notice when you men, you have problems, you get prostate cancer, they tell you you have a problem peeing and whatnot. That's those, that's that sperm that became tumors inside of you, inside of your urethra. That, that, those, that semen, those semen ducts, those blocks start to swell with semen that's constantly being pushed into that area and it pushes up against the urethra. It starts to clog the urethra. That's why you have a hard time peeing. Okay. Can men have too much sex? No. No. Well, let me, no, let me take it back. At least once a week, man. That's all I'm saying. Just at least once a week. You know, not every day. At least maybe, if you, if you depend, every three days to a week. You know, and you will not, I guarantee you will not have any prostate issues. I promise you that. What does, uh, uh, what does this mean to the sex life of men? Everything. Because I just freed y'all from sickness, for those of you who paid attention. For the um, complete broadcast, you're going to have to go to Mental Like Patreon. Go to Mental Like Patreon for this complete broadcast, because it will not, I guarantee you, it will not be on YouTube. Subscribe to Mental Like Patreon and join the Mesoamerican community. If it's hell, I'm in, then it's hell us. They tried everything just to spell us. Fed us religion, gave us fake gods. Through all of that, we beat the odds. Now we coming together under one flag. Colors red, gold, and blue. Superman, Superwoman, that's me and you. The infinite capability that 